Yesterday we kicked off with an interesting question from Pat Gelsinger, which was, how many of our lives are getting less digital? Now I love this question because it's completely obvious what the answer is, and it provides an insight into why we're all here about bringing manufacturing supremacy back to the United States. But did you, well, specifically, silicon manufacturing. But did you ever stop to think about where all those wafers go? Sure, a lot of those wafers are going to NVIDIA GPUs to fill up data centers to train large data models so we can all have lullabies for our children. A large amount of that silicon goes to Apple so we can have our phones. But an equally large amount of silicon exists around us to satisfy our ever increasing need for wireless connectivity. So pictured here is Anywhere USA. Could be right here in Seattle, outside. We have a typical day, people commuting to and from work or the grocery store, hanging out in the park. We have people exercising, walking their dogs. This everyday life depends upon microelectronics. It is all around us, all the time. We have microelectronics in our pockets and our phones, that's front and center in our mind. But we have health trackers on our bodies that we use when we're exercising. We chip our pets so we can find them or people can return them to us when they run away. But there are a lot of microelectronics that are around us that we don't think about. So you work in an office building, you probably have an occupancy sensor that sits in your office that turns off the HVAC and lights when you're not there. Your home is wireless everything because that's where our wireless devices live most of the time. You probably don't think about the cars as a mobile platform for electronics, but that's exactly what they are from the self-driving automobiles to the cameras to the low-cost small microcontrollers that are in all of the engines and the TPMS, your tire pressure monitor systems. The electronics are around us are everywhere. Every one of these microelectronics has an interface to the real world. That could be digital, it could be analog. It's usually intentional, but sometimes it's unintentional. And it is these interfaces that we spend a lot of our time, these intentional interfaces, trying to protect. This is really the front door for security. We put the deadbolt on it, we lock it really tight, but sometimes we're not as concerned about the open window that we have on the side. And these are those unintentional interfaces. People are using the interfaces in ways that we didn't think about. And it is sort of the proliferation now that we have of the silicon around us everywhere with all of these interfaces that is really motivating our interest in security for silicon microelectronics. So before I bring out our next speaker, I want to leave you with sort of a, a scary thought with all of the silicon around us, all of those interfaces. How much effort goes into designing the security posture for a very low cost Internet of Things devices? And when a zero day vulnerability pops up on one of these interfaces on that low cost device, how easy would it be to replace tens of millions of these now vulnerable devices that are everywhere all around us? So with that, I'll exit stage left and bring out our next speaker. Thank you.